Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Kelly from Kelly Lee Creates and I teach lettering and digital design tutorials. So today I have a tutorial for you in Canva and we are going to be making this fun um, sublimation tumbler wrap today. So sublimation has become super popular in the past few years and sublimation on tumblers is even more popular. So this is a very, very easy um, tutorial on how to create your own uh, sublimation file in Canva. So Canva is completely free program to use, but you can also pay for Canva Pro. I believe at the time that I'm recording this video, it's about 12, I think it's $12.99 a month for Canva Pro. So the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to create your um, tumbler template. This is for a 20 ounce skinny tumbler, and I already have it created here, but I'm going to go back here and I'm just going to do this from scratch. So you hit create custom size and it's going to be 9.35. Um, inches. First of all, I'm going to change this to inches because we're working in inches. So it's going to be 9.35 inches wide by 8.25 inches high. And you just hit create new design. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to put in this leopard background. And all I did was under elements search for rainbow leopard so we're going to choose this one down here now this is in the um, available only for canva pro users you can see it says pro and it has a little crown right here um, but if you want to use a free design if you scroll down you can use this one right here. It's got no crown. This one's for free. I'm going to use this one up here. And I'm going to rotate it like so. And then stretch it out like that. So it fills my canvas. And I think I used a different one for this, but it's pretty similar. So we're going to go with that. Okay. So the next thing that you have, we have to do is um, we're going to make this like torn piece of paper element right here. So under elements, we're going to search for torn paper. And then we're going to come over here to this arrow and we're going to scroll till we get to frames. And then you can see a bunch of different frames that have like torn edges. So we're looking for a really skinny one with torn edges on both sides. And this is the one that I used right here. So if you just click that, it inserts into your canvas and I'm just going to rotate it. 90 degrees, so it's straight up and down like that. And then I'm just gonna size it up so it fits the canvas like that. So the next thing we have to do is we have to add a color to this frame. So to do that, uh, click on color and come up here to document colors and you can choose whatever color you want. Um, if you use this eyedropper tool right down here, you can pick a color from your design. That's what I usually do. So I'm going to click that and let's pick like the light, the light purple. Then I'm going to come over here to gradient. And when you do that, you can see all these different styles of gradients. And you can click through them to see which one you like. Um, I'm going to use this one, the second one from the left, and I'm, I don't like this dark color, so I'm going to change that. All you do is click on it and then again click the eyedropper tool 
and just pick a different um, color from your design. So I'm going to go with that. So it goes from a darker purple to a lighter purple. And the final thing that we have to do is add some text. So over here, the text tool, I just click on add a subheading and just enlarge this a little bit. And I'm going to change it to white so we can see it on the purple. And I'm going to change the font to apricots because I like that font. It's a nice like hand lettered font. And I'm just gonna put my name. And then rotate it 90 degrees and enlarge it so it fits into the frame nicely. Just click and drag the, um, the corners of the box to resize. Now one last thing is I'm going to give this text a little bit of depth. So if I click on it and come up here to effects, I'm going to click on this lift right here. And it just gives it a little bit of shadow and a little bit of depth um, behind the text. So that is how you create the design in Canva. So if you come over here to the share button and download, and you can save it as um, a P JPEG, a PNG, or a PDF. So just click on whichever one that you want and save it to your computer, and then you can open it up and send it to your sublimation printer. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you want more tutorials, visit my blog at kellyleecreates.com. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time.